Hey guys, Bondo here. So I got a pretty weird project we're doing today. We're gonna be building what I call a stem wall. Or actually, I would call this a grade beam, not a stem wall. We're actually pouring a concrete footer per se on top of a stone wall. And guy's gonna build um, a barn on top of that. Like a, more of a pavilion, it's gonna have open ends. I'll show you how we're doing it. Um, I'm here today by myself, me and my dog Rowan. I call him Rotor. We're gonna get to it. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Hey, Ro. Ro, Ro. What you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? Okay, guys, this is what we got. We got this old foundation. It must have been a barn foundation because you can see the there's troughs down in there, like troughs. I think they're manure troughs or whatever so um the guy wants to build another barn on top of this thing so this foundation's like two foot thick two foot wide get it on here this way and it's probably i don't know 60 feet long maybe but he just wants to build at 32 feet so he's gonna build we need to put a footer right here where this orange line is and head that way 32 feet and then down here this wall is lower we're going to do the same thing we're going to pour a footer along here and that's going to be 32 feet as well and then he's going to build on top of that so this is uh what i would call a grade beam it's basically we're going to pour concrete at grade and the front wall grade is higher than the back so he's going to build his back walls taller and we need to put something to level this out for him so he can build on it and also we need something to anchor down to so the thought is putting the concrete grade beam here with a lot of reinforcement rebar and stuff in it and then we are going to uh, pour that cap and put some anchor bolts in so he can uh, build his walls so width is not super critical he said he'll order his trusses to fit so we just got to make sure we're parallel from this wall to this wall and that we're square so we could make these footers a little bit longer and he can just build his building square he wants 32 feet so i'll probably do that pretty nice lot here is a big pond out back but this is going to be like an equipment building he's just going to park in here i don't think there's going to be end walls at all on it just up in the gables so the ends here will be open on both ends he can park his equipment he has a mini excavator and a tractor looks like carl the kubota with a cab on it and that's what we're doing today guys just me and ro hey buddy ro rotor ah, he's ignoring me he wants to work let's get to it hey guys bondo here let me know if you would build on this foundation um what you think of it you think it's strong enough to hold um, this building he's trying to build um, and stay to the end of the video i got some insight on this foundation and this barn um, stay to the end i'll explain a few things to you about the barn it's pretty cool but let me know down in the comments like i said make sure you hit the like button if you like this video guys thanks okay guys what i did here is i put the pins in on both ends and i strung a string down through here all the way to the other end like I said, I, he wants 34. I made it 36. Just so uh, he's got a little wiggle room here to square things up. Because it's going to be hard to get this wall square with this wall and everything else. To give him a little room if he's got to move things around. So now I'm just going to go down through here about every four foot and pop a hole in for my rebar. And that's going to be uh, what holds my footing for him. So I'm going to drill them now. Okay guys, so I got my pins in on the outside. Now all I'm going to do is jump over here and put another row of pins down through there. And that's going to hold my footing form for me. So that's the game plan here. I think that'll hold things from moving. It'll give us a decent grade beam. So I won't bother filming this second part, but I'm just going to 
do what I said. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to jump over here and do the same thing. I'm not going to video that either. And uh, we'll, we'll catch back in after that part's done. All right, guys, I'm building my footing on top of uh, the rock wall here. And I'm just going to show you how I'm hooking everything together. I got these bars that go down into the rock wall. And then I'm using these little uh, conduit clamps, EMT conduit clamps. I had some left over from uh, doing some radiant heat work. So I'm just hooking them on there. Just going to take them like this. Put them over here and put a screw in there and that's going to keep this board from moving and then i'll put some spreader boards on there and hang some rebar in here and uh, i could check my elevation and adjust it a little bit either by moving the form up or down or just snapping a line on the footer form either way i still got to do that back half my pins are all in but i gotta get that lumber down there and uh, build that one and we'll pour it stay tuned okay guys I'm putting my rebar in here I'm gonna put two rows of rebar down through here this is half inch rebar I'm tying them up with these uh, little twisty ties you can get a pack of thousand of these at the box store for pretty cheap so this little tool here little spinny tool I like to lap that rebar a couple feet and uh, you gotta hook it through here. I'm gonna do this one handed, of course. So you hook it through there and just spin it like this. That's how you do it. Just like that. like that there's my laps see i got two rebar i'm gonna put some one by two or one by threes across here and hang the rebar from that so the rebar is right where i want it Okay guys, so I cut up a bunch of wire here and all we're going to do now is just wire this rebar off the bottom of the footing. So just take my rebar and my wire, loop it around like this, bring it up, just give it a twist, a couple of twists. Hey guys, Bondo, just me and Carl the Kubota today on the footer job. So me and Carl are gonna uh, unload this concrete today when it gets here. Let's show you what we're doing. You seen it yesterday. This is the next day with the footer. Basically, I'm just going to bucket this concrete in here today, guys. This is really muddy over here. We might try to get the truck in, but I'll let the driver decide in case he gets stuck. But we're going to be dumping concrete into here and then the one down there. So we can drive around and go inside there with our concrete on the bottom, too. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set up the laser so that we can uh, get our grade. Um, the footer's pretty close, but I'm gonna use uh, my laser to set it perfect as we go. Stay tuned for the four. Here come the mud! There it is! Whoop, whoop! Boy, they're right on time. See what he does here. Looks like Sean. Looks like he's driving right in here. He ain't scared. He ain't scared. Hope we don't get stuck, Sean. I didn't tell you to drive in here. We we're gonna use Carl. Not good, cause we're stuck already. I come wheeling in here, I wasn't even gonna have him drive in here. Front tires locked up. It's pretty muddy over here, guys. It says his front wheels ain't locking in. It's gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. Well, guys, the truck's broke. The front wheel drive's not working, so uh, what I'm gonna do is pull the tractor up here grab the mud drive down around here down into the bottom there and uh, do it that way so i'll set the camera up so i can kind of see that whole thing All right, guys, so she's full. I just need to level it out a little bit. I got one scoop down there, concrete to work with. I'm gonna mag this off, check it with the laser. Sean's washing out the truck. Um, he's leaving me a little pile here. That's all that's left, guys. We're, uh, we figured this one really good. About one scoop plus that little pile. We're gonna wash Carl off and uh, we're gonna hook a chain up to this bad boy and try to pull it out. See if Carl can pull this track um, truck out. Think we can get her, bud? Yep. Good. She's empty now, so a lot lighter than it was, but this is really muddy over here right now, this time of year, so stay tuned. my tractor for the pull. <laughs> Free washing just for pulling you out, right? Yep. <laughs> okay guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this wire off of here. I'm going to cut it with the grinder. 
got my little grinder and uh i'm going to take these spreader boards off they're just screwed in all the way down through there and i'm going to mag off the surface and i'm going to check it with my laser which is set up in the corner over there and make sure everything's good i left it a little bit high but i do have a pile of concrete here i can work with so what i want to do is make sure that's really flat because he's going to build his wall right on top of here we're not going to lay blocks or nothing on this he's going to put his treated plate right on here i'm going to sink some anchor bolts in here so stay tuned i'm going to take all this apart and mag it off Okay guys, I got the bottom here done. I'm gonna jump up to the top. Um, I use this screed stick here to flatten it out. But you can see that stone work was pretty good. Um, I only had a couple spots where my form was just a little bit high, like right there. But not bad at all. This is probably at least 100 years old, this foundation, and she was pretty level. I did check it yesterday, but it amazes me how level it is. So we're gonna jump up there now and do that section next. Do exactly the same thing as I did down here. Okay guys, we got her done. That's what it looks like. I just put my anchor bolt in. I stuck them up about two inches, two and a half inches. And they're all ready to go down the middle. He can build his walls. Uh, treated plate right on top of here and build his walls right up and obviously that wall is going to be taller than this front one but he can build that right up put his roof on and uh he's got a shelter for his uh kubotas got a couple of kubotas there or one's a hitachi and he's got a carl the kubota there it looks just like carl the kubota but it's an l4240 carl's an mx5100 there it is guys thanks for watching i'm gonna come over tomorrow and rip the forms off let her harden up 24 hours or so and i'll be back tomorrow hey guys bondo here back at the little footer project today me and rotor bro where are you buddy oh there he is bro bro say hi say hi buddy Hey, hi. We're back at the footer here, guys. We're going to strip the footer forms off today. Um, get them out of here. And this job will be complete. So stay tuned. Just going to rip them off quick. Show you what it looks like on the sides and all that. Thanks. You ready to work? You ready to work, buddy? Come on. Let's get to work. Come on, bum. Let's get to work. You ain't going to do nothing, are you? You ain't going to work, are you, buddy? Nope. I'm just going to play in the brush pile, Dad. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to rip this thing apart.
Okay guys, got everything stripped off. Got all the lumber on the trailer loaded up, ready to go. Up there, you can see it. Um, as promised, I wanna tell you something cool about this foundation um, and this barn in particular, this, this whole barn that they built here. Here's a timber that's laying here, guys. So this was a timber frame barn and you can see that's hand hewn timber right there. So by hand hewn, what I mean is uh, they chopped that with an ax by hand. They didn't have a sawmill when they built this barn. So that tells me this barn is real old. It was mortise and tenon carpentry. Here's the old, one of the old um, beams. Look at that mortise guys. I'm a timber frame junkie if you know me. Um, so I love this stuff. That's a housed mortise. See how they house the, the beam would have set in a little bit. These nails here are just stuff they probably nailed on through the years. But originally this barn was hand hewn timber frame. You can see the peg holes there. Guys, they must have drilled them with a hand auger. And there's another mortise, a housed mortise. That's probably for the brace. That's probably a brace pocket right there, it looks like to me. But this barn, I mean, I'm going to look up how old it is, try to figure it out. But let me know what you guys think, how old this thing is, being uh, hand-hewn like that. And as far as the foundation goes, let me know what you think of it. Would you guys build on this thing? Um, I think it's pretty cool that he salvaged it. Only thing I would have done different is put end walls in here. I would have took these stones here. I mean, it would be a lot of work, but I would have laid another wall here and kind of closed it and left to, you know, close that back wall, leave a garage door on the end here. But uh, that's that, guys. Oh, one more thing. Just so you know, the old boys that built this, the old stonemasons that built this foundation were pretty accurate with their... Um, their dimensions and all that because I set my footer form on top of these rock walls and I was within a half inch. I didn't really have to do any shimming. I just nailed the forms together with my pins in there and I just used my laser to kind of touch it up on top to level it. Well, these boys really did a nice job on this, you know, hundreds of years ago and it's really level. The sides here are nice and level. And the dimensions, if you were to pull a tape from this wall to that wall, I mean, they're within a half inch to an inch. And that's with all these stones. So they're pretty much perfect because the stones go in and out. But, I mean, they did a nice job on this thing. I think it's pretty cool. Look down this wall, how nice and straight it is. I mean, that thing is nice and plumb. And it's been here for hundreds of years. So... Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something a little different. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, check us out. We got a lot of stuff coming up this summer. Um, a lot of Nadura, flat, a lot of flat work, all kinds of concrete stuff. We're going to be building all kinds of stuff, guys. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Check that out, guys. Hey, Ro. Ro, hey. Look at that. This sucker's level, guys. This old foundation, nice and level. Ro, you ready to go, buddy? Ready to go home? Get some lunch, bud? Wanna get some lunch?